YouTube, my name is Mesa Sean, and welcome back to another video. All right, folks, well, you can see I'm playing some Destiny 2, and I'm uh, sitting at the tower there in the screen, right? No. That's a dumb joke, but a nice intro to a video, right? Guys, what's going on? We're going to go over this awesome app from NVIDIA called NVIDIA Broadcast. The NVIDIA Broadcast app, you want to think of it as a background app that you can run when you're streaming, when you're on video conference calls, voice chats, and so forth. Uh, you will be seeing this every Tuesday when I stream live right here on YouTube at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, so I can work that little plug in there. But uh, this video is not sponsored by NVIDIA. I have done some sponsored things by them. I use their products. I have a 2080 Ti Strix in my current build right now, and I'm having a blast with this new app, and you'll start seeing it live every single Tuesday with one, different backgrounds for my camera. But more importantly, it does some amazing things to, one, my microphone quality. I'm sure you guys are so sick and tired of hearing my air conditioner in the background because it gets so hot in my office here. But then also, it will reduce some of the excess noise coming from other people that are either in Discord. Doesn't it get annoying when either A, you've got background noise, well, this is going to take care of that, or you are in chat and someone is typing away on their keyboard or they've got some sort of buzzing going on or a hum. Well, this app will let you remove that and uh, still let your stream or your video conference or your voice chat, uh, let them hear you fine. I am going to show you in this video how to configure NVIDIA Broadcast uh, in Streamlabs OBS. That's what I'm using for now. Uh, GMD Geek and Twisted Fate from the Mesa Army Channel member crew. They're going to get me over to, I guess it's OBS Live, I think it's called. But you can use this app in the background of a variety of things. XSplit, Stream Elements, uh, Twitch Studio. You could use it with your Discord, uh, Elgato software. Uh, you're going to run this app in the background. So what it does is it creates virtual devices that can be selected as your microphone, speaker, and camera. So when I give you my example on how I set up my camera in Streamlabs, Labs OBS, I'm not going to be selecting my Logitech camera. I'm going to be configuring the app in the background first. Then I open up Streamlabs OBS. And then when I go to select my camera, I don't select my uh, Logitech. I'm going to select NVIDIA Broadcast. So let's take a look at NVIDIA Broadcast and how you set it up. It's real simple. You've got microphones, speakers, and camera. And we're going to focus on the camera first. So you want to open the app up first, right? And that's where you're going to do your configurations. And then from there, you want to open up your streaming software. So in this clip in the background here, I'm going to open up Streamlabs OBS. Now from there, instead of choosing my Logitech camera, right now there should be a camera there, but it's not. What I need to do is just go into properties where my, um, I think it's video capture device would be. And then instead of selecting Logitech, I select NVIDIA Broadcast. And then from there, I go activate and then boom, my camera comes on. From there, I'm done. Now I just want to go into the actual NVIDIA Broadcast app and I can have a lot of fun with the actual app and tweak that camera. So we're going to talk about the camera first and then we'll talk about the other features of the microphone and speakers to remove annoying background noise. So the first effect that I'm showing you here is the background blur and you could set it to max and completely blur your background. I mean, sometimes I like to leave that off because I like to show off my background. I've got some lights, I've got my guitars, my destiny memorabilia. There's this cool feature here down at the bottom that you have called auto frame. So sometimes for those dramatic moments when you want to zoom in on yourself, well, you could see as I move, the AI makes the camera actually track where I am in terms of sitting down. So it's just an extra cool feature if you like to zoom in on yourself. You could quickly zoom in and the camera will track you. Also, you want to keep in mind, it does have a frame rate and also a resolution setting that you have to match with your streaming software. So for me here in this particular instance, I'm using 2080 by 720 at 60 frames per second and you need to also set that in your software. Another really cool feature is the background replacement. Now this is awesome because you don't need a green screen or anything. Um, you simply just can go in and find a file or a video clip even. In that intro clip you saw I was at the tower and the lights were blinking and everything. But yeah, you could just pick different images you want on your hard drive and it will key out everything in your background 
And I found that you don't see really many artifacts at all with this stuff. It really does wonders for your camera by throwing in an image. There, I was just goofing around and put one of my guitar, well, my old guitars in the background. But you get the idea. You could put a really cool image, or you can actually have a video running in the background. And here is where you can actually mess with the different frames. I found for myself, for my setup, that 60 frames per second with 2080 by 720 was working the best. I could have done 1920 by uh, 1080 at 30 frames per second, but I found for me 2080 by 720 just made my camera look a whole lot smoother. Now let's. Let's talk about the speaker feature and microphone feature of NVIDIA Broadcast because with NVIDIA Broadcast, that's where you're going to remove your excess background from you, things in your background, or background from other people. So with microphone, well, you could see I'm using a Blue Yeti, and from here you could set the strength and also turn it on and off. But it also has a record feature. So you could record yourself just talking into the microphone and then play it back and start typing away or turn on your air conditioner or turn on a fan or something and then adjust the strength from there to see how much you want it. Do you want it all the way up? Do you want it halfway? You know, find that sweet spot where it's going to remove that background and then also let your audience hear you more clear. I did forget something about the camera. There also is a background removal feature. I know I mentioned before that you don't need a green screen, but the background removal feature, well, what does it do? It yeah, removes the background and it looks great. Um, you don't need a green screen at all. It'll just simply remove the background. So now onto speakers. So now from here, this is where it's going to remove uh, sounds or excess noise from other people, either in party chat, whether you're playing like, let's say on a console or if you're in discord and they've got some noisy things going on. Well, you can select your audio source, which could be discord. It could be the game. It could be whatever. And your audience will hear you more clear with NVIDIA broadcast. And if you want some examples, also, you could see on the app right there, there's a little drop down menu where you could select air conditioning, chip bag, fan, rain, typing, and they actually give you some samples on how it actually works and the reduction in that type of sound. So overall, guys, I think you should check it out. Check out some links in the description. You will be seeing this every Tuesday when I live stream right here on YouTube when we do the weekly reset and hopefully see a difference in the interference mission or that secret Court of Oryx 2.0 room that, hey guys, you know what? You guys call me out that it's not in the game or we're not gonna see it until Beyond Light. However, in that one trailer when they showed Beyond Light footage and Arrivals footage, uh, it like they showed you like a frame or two of it in the arrivals footage. So it is coming this season We just don't know when so tune in every Tuesday and uh, you're gonna see me using the software and have different backgrounds and Hopefully less noise in the background um, Usually discords fine because the people that I play with have quiet mics, but uh, yeah I can't wait to uh, stream with this now all the time So that's it for this video guys leave me a good old hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end if you'd like to further support the channel and become a channel Remember, click the link in the description or click join on screen. We've got an amazing Destiny 2 Mesa Army community over on Discord. And also the channel members themselves have indeed set up a clan, PC, Xbox, and PS4. All right, guys, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaSean. Check out my stream, usually always on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Vladimir.